I got money on my mind, now they better pay me Bet they wanna see me way down Overthinking every night, think I'm going crazy Don't know what else I should say now Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first video of 2021. I have had a little bit of time off from filming. My last video was actually the 27th of December. But yeah, today's video is going to be buying the cheapest 50cc dirt bike on the internet. I'm going to go over to the office now, go on the computer and see which bike I can find for the cheapest price. It needs to be a 50cc bike and it needs to be brand new. That's the only things I'm going to go off. Basically, I'm going to be filming this video with the bike. I'm going to be doing a review on the bike. I'm going to be doing a top speed and I'm going to be surprising my little cousin with the bike. He has never ridden a 50cc bike. He does actually have an Osset, the smallest type of Osset. It's like that one. But yeah, although that is quite a fast bike for a four or five year old, because he is only four or five, um, a 50cc bike is what he needs to be on because he is eventually going to be getting a KTM and probably be racing. So yeah, we want to get him started on a little 50cc bike, just get him used to the bike. So I'm going to be surprising him with this bike once um, with, I've done my videos with it. He can sort of have it and do what he likes with it then. So yeah, let's go over to the office now and look Aye. for a bike. Trying to fit. Guess it from the thought of it. People fake. Think they need to start a kid. Trying to be real, this right here to start a kid, pick the grind. Right, so guys, I'm in the workshop now. I'm going to crack the box open and show you guys what is inside. I am sorry if the audio is a little bit echoey. Um, I'm in the big shed and yeah, it is just echoey. So, got the Stanley knife, I'm going to crack it open and I'll show you guys what's inside. Brandon, get a credit out if it's both of you that planned it. If you got some bread, they should not be empty handed. If your homie winning, then you win it. Pay yourself to anybody else these days. So guys, the first thing that you see when you open the box is a load of graphics for the bike. So we will be putting them on at some point, ready for my cousin to have the bike. But yeah, for now, I'll pull this out and see what I've got to put together. Because I know this isn't obviously in one piece, but I don't know how many bits it's actually in. So yeah. I do have a motocross stand here that has like the scissor lift so I am actually going to put it on that because I think it will make it a lot easier to do the work on the bike so yeah, let's get this little thing put on the stand. So obviously the bars need to be put on, which isn't a big job at all. And then all the all else that he's doing is the front wheel. There is a little box down there, which I'm assuming the axle and all the bolts and everything are in. So. Yeah, let's get putting it all together. Trying to fit. Guess it from the thought of it. People fake. Think they need to start a kid. Trying to be real. This right here to start a kid. Pick the grind. Look like I just started it. Trying to fit. Guess it from the thought of it. People fake. Think they need to start a kid. Trying to be real. This right here to start a kid. Pick the grind. Look like I just started it. So guys, the two bolts that actually go into the foot pegs, um, there is a nut missing. I'm not sure if it wasn't in the box or I've lost it because it is quite easy to lose a bolt, especially in here. So yeah, I've now got to go through a big bolt box that we've got here to try and find a nut that will fit onto there. So yeah, wish me luck. Right, so I found a nut to go on there. So now we need to put the pegs on and then bolt them on. I can't actually find any springs, so 
yeah, there isn't any springs. So when they lift up, they ju I guess they just fall back down. So I am going to go and grab some petrol really quickly. Obviously, it needs to be a two-stroke mix, which I think I do have somewhere. If not, I've got some in my KTM, so I might have to drain a little bit out. But I'll read the manual first, actually, because that will say what they recommend, like oil ratio in the petrol. So I'll read this quickly and find out how much oil to petrol they recommend putting in and see if I will put that same amount in or not. But yeah, have a look at the manual quickly and then we'll go over and mix some petrol up. So guys, I did actually already have some petrol mixed up. So that is perfect. This is 25 to one, so it's pretty much exactly what they recommend anyway. It's not completely full, but that will do for now. Right, so this is going to be the first start. Um, so, yeah, I have turned the key on. Right, so I have just turned the ignition on, the fuel on, and the choke, so... Yeah, that's it really. So, yeah, let's give it a pull and get it started. So guys, as you would have just seen, it does run and it does ride, but it is 10 o'clock at night and everyone's gone to bed, so I'm not sure whether I should or not ride it. I do just want to ride it up and down in here quickly, so I think I might do that. Um, if I wake them up, I wake them up. They shouldn't have gone to bed so early anyway. So, yeah. Uh, let's just do it. I'll just go up and down here quickly, see what it's like, and then I'll save all the rest of the riding until next video. So, yeah, let's start it up quickly and just go up and down here just to see what it's like. So I have actually just messaged over to the house and all my family are still awake so we're going to go over, I'm going to go over quickly now to the tarmac and have a tiny little ride on it but then like I said earlier I'll save the rest of the riding until my next video so yeah let's take it outside quickly and see how quick it is. So not sure if you guys did see or hear any of that, but basically it did run for literally like a minute, if that, and the chains come off straight away already. So obviously I did rush into riding it a little bit. So I'm going to take it out tomorrow, make sure everything's tight on it, adjust the wheel and put the chain back on, and then I'll make a separate video of me riding it. So for now, that is going to be it. I'm going to head back into the workshop quickly. So I'll see you again in there. So guys, I have got the bike and the box there because I did just actually take the thumbnail. But yeah, it is all complete now. Obviously, like we just saw, the chain has come off. But that is probably be probably because I haven't actually tightened everything up or I don't know. We'll have a look at that tomorrow though. It shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, I'm going to be doing loads of videos with this. Obviously, like I said at the start of the video, the whole aim of this was so that I could surprise my little cousin with it in... Uh, probably about a month's time once I've filmed a few videos with it. So right now I'm obviously filming this video. I'm going to do a top speed. I'm going to do my first proper ride on it. 
Um, I'm going to do loads of things with this bike. So yeah, if you're interested in this, make sure you do subscribe. It means a lot. And yeah, we're on the road to 10k. Hopefully we can hit 10k subscribers this year. So yeah. Please make sure you do subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'll be, up, be uploading a lot more now. I did have quite a lot of time off, which actually I really regret now because it's been three months without me uploading and obviously I haven't been gaining any subscribers really in that amount of time. So yeah, we've got to really push this year to if I do want to get to 10K subscribers. So yeah, but stay tuned for these videos. Thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I got money on my mind, now they better pay me Bet they wanna see me way down Overthinking day night, think I'm going crazy Don't know what else I should say now